Hey guys, how you doing? Ronan Steel here. Uh, about to do a first of a sort of unboxing um, uh, video. This is a, a second month update. Uh, this month I bought some uh, coins from Silver to Go and I also bought a couple of 250 gram uh, silver bars although I did make a bit of a mistake when I was buying that and picked two bars which were the cheapest to be fair um, but there was a 14 day waiting time in them so I'll have to wait for them to appear before I do them so I'm going to quickly get these unboxed and then we'll crack on with the video ok guys here we go well what I've got here is five or six coins um, this was one which I hadn't seen before, which was a two ounce coin, um, which was um, a year of the horse Australian coin. So that's pretty nice. Comes in a an airtight container there. Really nice that coin. There we go. I also picked up another three. Uh, Canadian silver maples there. I actually was having a little look on YouTube and saw um, some empty tubes there. Uh, I think there was two for £5. I don't really know if that's good or not, but it was cheap enough that I decided to get it. So I'm, I'm now <laughs> going to fill these uh, two tubes uh, of Canadian um, maple leaf coins. But if anybody knows... Um, you know, a good reputable place that I can get other empty tubes, then give us a shout because uh, I'll certainly have them away. Uh, I'd like at least one, you know, sort of coin tube full of each type of coins. Um, what have we got here? This looks like uh, a lever tad actually. There we go. That's my sort of first one of them. Uh, I've also got a Noah's Ark uh, coin here. This is an Armenian coin. Um, I didn't even know Armenia was still about. <laughs> so that was them there. Um, so that's the, the coins for the moment. I've, like I say, I've got a couple of bars coming. So as soon as I get them, I'll get them uploaded. Um, so uh, one question that that did get me thinking was uh, a guy called Kino uh, on his channel, Kino Stacks. Does does every dollar or does every pound count? Um, you know, I, I sort of started off with a um, idea that in my first year of doing this, I was going to try and get as much silver as I could per month, every month, um, for the first year, as cheaply as possible. However, after I've, I've seen some of these coins, I quite like them. Um, uh, especially the designs on them, some of them are pretty nice. So, you know, I don't mind paying a pound or two extra here or there for the odd coin. But this is why I've been buying these um, these maple leaves. Um, at the moment, I think these are, for us, about £14.70. Obviously buying from... VAT free, like a uh, silver to go. Um, I'm buying more of these uh, as I can just to get the, the weight up. I have bought some bars, but um, I did sort of price up the, the price between uh, 25 uh, sort of ounces and uh, the same in bars, and it is obviously cheaper to buy it in bars, but you know, with these being VAT free, I'll, I'll do these at the moment. Um, so Oh. That's a, a nice coin. Um, so the other question that had got me thinking, I mean, watching the, the sort of YouTube community and everybody else, everybody seems to have different ideas and what, why they're doing what they're doing, why they're stacking. Um, I think my main reason is most likely wealth preservation. But I, I did, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I seem to think that I am sort of planning possibly for some sort of financial crisis and so on. I'm not going to get politics about the way things are going in the world at the moment because that's a whole other 
different subject, but you know, I seem to I probably do have a bit of a belief that there's there's going to be issues in the next couple of years, so I'm hoping it is the next couple of years so I can get myself a good stack of silver and gold and, and what and what and I, I definitely wouldn't consider myself a um like prepper with the, the food and whatever else and you know, the more you search the more you sort of sort of start to find these guys that are that are into that sort of thing. Um I also ex military myself so I haven't really uh, felt the need to sort of go down that route yet. Um, but this this is my sort of idea of sort of planning. You know, should there be some sort of financial crisis or something, then at least I've I've got some sort of um, money, if you like, something that's been money for thousands of years. Um, you know, to sort of help try and provide for my family and whatnot, which is what we're all about, I suppose. Um, and that's pretty much me. Hopefully, these bars will will come in the next few days and I can do a quick unboxing of them. These will be the largest bars I've bought at 250 grams each. Um, you know, it wasn't a, a bad purchase this month, but I think, you know, sort of money-wise, I'd like to at least get minimum 10 ounces a month, every month for the first year and then see where we go from there. Um, I know, should the opportunity arise, I'll probably add a wee bit of gold now. But anyway guys, thanks for uh, watching, it's been Ronan Steel, and this was a second month update. Thanks and catch yous.